Hi friends, I'm so happy to see you today for story time. The book that we're reading today is The Toll Bridge Troll. And the author is Patricia Ray Wolf. And the illustrator is Kimberly Falcon Root. Who remembers what the author does in stories? What does the author do? The author writes the words, yes. And what's the illustrator's job? What does the illustrator do? The illustrator draws the pictures. So I think you guys are really going to like this story today. But before we read it, let's get ready for our story, okay? Hands up. Let's say, open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open. Open, shut them, place them on your lap, lap, lap. Nice job, boys and girls. You all look ready for our story, The Toll Bridge Troll. Here's the title page. Now the story is starting. Today was the first day of school. And Trig did not want to be late. This is Trig right here. He gobbled his breakfast. He grabbed his books and gave his mother a goodbye kiss. Have a good day, she said. And be careful of the troll. Yes, mother, said Trig. Have your parents ever told you to be careful of a troll? No, mine never have either. This is going to be an interesting story. Trig walked across the field, up a big hill, and down a long road. When he came to the little bridge, he stopped and looked around. Just as Trig stepped onto the rickety wooden bridge, a terrible, ugly troll jumped up from beneath it. So the troll was under the bridge. And when Trig went on the bridge, he jumped up. So now he's on top. This is my bridge, the troll snarled. But I have to cross the bridge to go to school, said Trig. Why? The troll asked. So I can get smart. That's not a good reason, the troll said. Well, I have to go to school because my mother said so, Trig said. Oh, said the troll, that's a good reason. Do you think the troll's going to let him go by? I hope so, because Trig is supposed to be going to school. Let's find out. Trig started to cross the bridge. Wait, said the troll, jumping in front of Trig. This is my toll bridge. You have to pay a penny to go across. Trig thought for a minute. He couldn't pay a penny every day to go to school. Oh, he would just have to trick the troll. I have an idea, Trig said. We'll ask a riddle. If you answer the riddle, I won't cross your bridge. But if I answer the riddle, I get to cross for free today. Oh, so they were going to say riddles see if they could do the right answer, and then he wouldn't have to pay the penny. I wonder if they know any good riddles. We'll find out. Oh, goody, the troll said, jumping up and down. I like riddles. Here's the riddle, Trig said. Why does a giraffe have such a long neck? Hmm. The troll bridge, the toll bridge troll, hunched down into a thinking crouch. He crunched his face into a thinking frown. Think, 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 think. After a long time, the troll asked, What's a giraffe? Hmm. <sighs> a giraffe is an animal with a long neck, Trig said. Oh, the troll hunched back into his thinking crouch. Think, think. Think, think, I give up, the troll said finally. Why does a giraffe have such a long neck? 
Because his neck is so far away from his body, Trig said. I win. I get to cross for free today. Mm, he's clever. The toll bridge troll stomped his feet. He shook his fists and made an awful, angry troll noises. But he let Trig cross the bridge. That worked well, Trig thought. Oh, I'll need many more tricky ideas if I'm going to cross the bridge every day without paying. After school, the toll bridge troll was waiting for Trig. Why do you think he was waiting for Trig? Hmm. Let's find out. My mother lives under this bridge too, the troll told Trig. She heard your riddle and she said that you tricked me. She said I was supposed to ask the riddle. Oh. Trig just smiled and quickly crossed the bridge. As he ran for home, he stumbled over a hole in the road. That hole gave him an idea. The next day, Trig's mother kissed him goodbye. Have a good day and be careful of the troll. Yes, mother, said Trig. You think he's going to bump into the troll again on his way to school? Let's find out. Oh, I'm using my picture clues. And I see that they're both standing on the bridge. There's Trig. There's the troll. Let's find out if he tells him another riddle. He walked across the field up a big hill and down a long road all the way to the bridge. As Trig stepped onto the bridge, the troll jumped out looking more terrible than ever. This is my bridge, the troll snarled. <sighs> Not again, Trig thought, but I have to cross the bridge to go to school, Trig said. Why? So I can get smart. That's not a good reason. I have to go to school because my mother said so, Trig said. Oh, said the troll. That's a good reason. Because you should always listen to what your parents say, huh? Yep, you should. Trig started to cross the bridge. Wait! The toll bridge troll said, and again jumped in front of Trig. This is my toll bridge. You have to pay me a penny to cross. Trig pretended to look for money in his pocket. I don't have a penny, Trig said, but I have an idea. Let's ask another riddle. If I answer it, I cross your bridge for free. Oh, I wonder if he's trying to trick the troll again. Oh, so here's the troll. Okay, said the troll, but today I ask the riddle. He hunched into a thinking crouch. He crunched his face into a thinking frown. Think, 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 think. After a long time, the troll said, huh. I don't know any riddles. I know one you can use, Trig said, and he whispered it into the troll's ear. Oh, that's a good one. How much dirt can you take out of a hole three feet wide and three feet deep, the troll asked. Oh, Trig pretended to think. Oh, that's a hard one, he said. I win, I win, the troll shouted. He jumped up and down. Nope, wait, Trig said. Now I remember. The answer is none. There is no dirt in a hole. Oh, so friends, this right here, try to show it to you. This is a penny. This is what the troll wanted. The penny's worth one cent. So today Trig tricked the troll again. So does he have to pay the troll a penny? One of these? Nope, not today. 
I wonder how the troll feels about that. Guess we'll find out. Ooh, looks like he's jumping up and down, waving his fists. Ooh, I don't think he looks very happy. Let's find out. The troll stamped his feet. He shook his fists and made an awful angry troll noise. I hope I don't run out of riddles, Drake thought as he ran across the bridge. After school, the troll was waiting for Trig. <sighs> My mother said you tricked me again, the troll said. She said you knew the answer when you told me the riddle to use. Do you think Trig knew the answer? Yes, because he told the troll the riddle. Oh, he sure is tricky. Let's see. Could be, Trig said, quickly crossing the bridge. As he ran home, he spied two coins lying in the dirt on the road ahead. That gave him an idea. The next day, Trig's mother kissed him goodbye, told him to have a good day, and warned him to watch out for the troll. Yes, mother, Trig said. So it looks like he's bending down right here to pick up those two coins. He gave him an idea. I wonder what his, his idea will be. Let's find out. Trig could see the troll waiting for him, looking more ugly than ever. This is my bridge, the troll snarled. Trig took a deep breath. But I have to cross the bridge to go to school to get smart because my mother said so, he said. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. Trig started to cross the bridge. Wait, said the troll. This is my toll bridge, and you have to pay a penny to cross. Trig sighed. I have another idea. No more riddles, the troll said. My mother's mad at me because of your riddles. Uh-oh. still talking on the bridge. No riddles, Trig said. He reached into his pocket. I have six cents, he told the troll, toll bridge troll. If you can guess what kinds of coins they are, I'll give them all to you. I'll even tell you how many coins I have to make the six cents. That's a deal. Oh, my mother's going to be proud of me this time, the troll said. I'm good at money. I have two coins, Trig said, and one of them isn't a nickel. You have six cents with only two coins, and one of them isn't a nickel, the troll repeated. Right. The toll bridge troll hunched into his thinking crouch. He crunched his face into a thinking frown. Think, 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 think. Ah, I give up, the troll said after a long while. Trig opened his hand. There was one nickel. This is a nickel, and a nickel is worth five cents. So he had a nickel, and there was one penny. A penny's worth one cent. Five, one, two, three, four, five, and one more is six. But you said one of them wasn't a nickel, the troll said. Right, said Trig. He picked up the penny and held it up. This one isn't a nickel. <gasps> Trig ran across the bridge. After school, the troll was waiting for Trig. My mother said you tricked me again, the troll said. Trig just smiled. You know what else my mother said? What? asked Trig. She said tomorrow I have to go with school. I have to go to school with you so I can get smart. Walk to school each day with a terrible, ugly troll? 
Oh, well, Trig thought with a sigh, at least I won't have to pay the toll. The end. So, what happened with Trig and the troll? The troll had to go to school with Trig so that he could get more smart. That's pretty cool. I hope that you all liked our story today. It's a really fun one. Now we're all done with our story, so we're going to sing our goodbye song, okay? Everybody get up their goodbye hands and help me sing. We'll sing, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends, it's time to say goodbye. Bye boys and girls, I'll see you soon.